John Ronald Brown was born July 14th, 1922. He died on May 16th of 2010. Uh, a former United States surgeon who was convicted of second degree murder after a patient died while Brown was practicing medicine without a license. Yeah, you don't want to do that one. So, uh, in early life, uh, the son of a Mormon physician, Brown was born in 1922. He did very well in school, uh, graduated from high school by the age of 16. Uh, when drafted by the U.S. Army during World War II, he scored exceptionally highly on the general classifications test, with the result that the Army sent him to medical school. So I'm guessing he scored really well uh, on the general classification test, uh, and that's how is uh, basically classifies you and determines where you're going to go within the army. So uh, he did really well on that test and the army sent him to medical school. So Brown graduated from Utah uh, School of Medicine in 1947. He worked as a general practitioner for almost two decades, uh, so 20 years. Uh, and however, after almost losing a patient during a, a thyroidectomy, he decided to under take formal surgical training but despite excelling in the written aspects of certification for the uh, American Board of Plastic Surgery he failed the oral assessments blaming his domineering father however rather than see this as an obstacle Brown decided to carry on regardless Later in his medical career, by 1973, Brown was carrying out sex reassignment surgery on transsexual patients. So let me read that again. By 1973, he was carrying out sex reassignment surgery on transsexual patients patients. He's been doing this without a license, you guys. So, in 1977, Brown's medical license was revoked by the California Board of Medical Quality Assurance for gross negligence, incompetence, and practicing unprofessional medicine in a manner which involved moral torpitude, unquote. The charge of gross negligence was based on his practice of carrying out sex reassignment surgery in his office on an outpatient basis rather than in fully equipped surgical theater. He was also charged with allowing patients to work as unqualified medical assistants, alleging as barter for their own subsequent surgery, failing to hospitalize a patient who had developed a life-threatening infection, and making false claims on medical insurance forms. So, uh, Brown continued to practice medicine outside of California, but was successfully barred from practicing in Hawaii, Alaska, and the island of St. Lucia. During the 1980s, Brown began soliciting and advertising surgical services in the U.S. whilst performing surgical procedures in Mexico. Most of his patients were transsexual people who were too poor to afford the fees of reputable surgeons. In 1986, an article in the magazine Forum reported on his procedure for surgical increasing penis length. This article in a subsequent television documentary, quote, the worst doctor in America, unquote, portrayed Brown as an incompetent and incept surgeon. His poor reputation eventually gained him the nickname, quote, Butcher Brown, unquote, amongst the transsexual community. Despite this, desperate individuals continued to seek him out. So, it looks like within the transsexual community, they were calling him Butcher Brown, but despite that, individuals continued to seek him out and continued to uh, go after the surgery he was offering. In 1990, Brown spent 19 months in prison for practicing medicine without a license. The charge came after Brown operated on the third year old male to female transsexual from Orange County, California. 
After leaving prison, Brown worked as a taxi driver for a year before reestablishing himself in medical practice. Now, this gets spicy. His murder conviction. On May 9th, 1998, Brown performed a leg amputation on Philip Bondi, a 79-year-old retired satellite engineer from New York in Tijuana, Mexico. Bondi was one of the rare individuals suffering from apatophilia or body integrity, identity disorder, a desire to have a healthy limb amputated. I guess uh, apotemnophilia hope i'm saying that right apotemnophilia uh it's a desire to have a healthy limb amputated why would anybody do this i don't know but that's what uh this person was seeking out a short time afterwards bondy was found dead in a national city california hotel room by a friend a fellow and antemnophiliac I was having trouble saying that one. Who had backed out of having surgery with Brown at the last moment? An autopsy showed he died of basically gain green. Okay, guys. In the subsequent trial, a surgeon who was a witness for the prosecution testified that Brown had not left a large enough skin flap to properly cover the bone and stump. The flap was stretched too tight to allow adequate blood flow and the tissue in the flap had died, allowing an infection and it produced gangrene, pretty much. Police searched Brown's premises. A ground floor unit revealed blood-soaked towels, sheets, and mattresses, as well as uh, anesthesia drugs. Police also discovered videotapes of Brown's operations. So I'm guessing he was videotaping this stuff, guys. Brown was prosecuted in California for second-degree murder, an unusually severe charge in medical cases. To make the charges stick, the prosecution had to establish that Brown had a history of incompetence and recklessness. A number of transsexual women gave testimony of their experiences of Brown's treatment and subsequent medical history. Brown was convicted by unanimous decision and sentenced to 15 years to life in prison. His illness and death by spring 2010, John Ronald Brown's health had deteriorated greatly and he became down, uh, he came down rather with numerous health problems, including a severe bout of pneumonia. Treatment for his pneumonia eventually proved useless. His body eventually rejected the antibiotic medication. While arrangements to move Brown to a rest home in San Diego were being made, he died on the evening of May 16th, 2010 at 10.40 p.m. Uh, local time, two months shy of his 88th birthday. Renegade Doctor is exactly what we would call him. That's exactly what he was and that's exactly how he was behaving. John Brown is perhaps America's most notorious doctor, a self-proclaimed sex change specialist. Brown had carried out a hundred operations. Alright guys, that is it for this one. If you guys enjoyed the content, don't forget to smash that like button like you've never smashed it before. Or hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications so you don't miss an episode, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.